Hello, my name's Lorraine, and I, I um, just wanted to come today, and I just wanted to share my story. I originally come from Carnarvon, and down towards uh, down the uh, towards the uh, Pilbara, Gascoigne. Um, I grew up in Carnarvon. Uh, on a, la on a large Aboriginal reserve with, uh, with a lot of, uh, when I say a large Aboriginal reserve, there were lots of other Aboriginal groups there. And growing up on the, uh, on the reserve meant um, being with a large group of uh, other Aboriginal children, all from different uh, groups. It wasn't just one big language, one same group language, it was a different language groups. So growing up on the, uh, on the reserve was, was a lot of fun. As a child, you know, growing up we'd fun, you know, fun in fishing, fun in hunting. We Did you go to, uh, was there many churches? In yeah, and, um, at that time and growing up on at the, on the reserve, the church that we were involved, with, um, uh, the Church of Christ, the missionaries from the Church of Christ, uh, yeah, Church of Christ in Carnarvon, where the missionaries um, first started. Yeah, and it was. Uh, the people, the missionaries used to come out on, to the reserve and um, we'd have Sunday school lessons and things like that. And it, it was just on, it was, a, it was from there, um, from Sunday school that I got to go to church with my, with my grandmother at the time, um, who, who used to, who used to, um, at that time, I, you know, she really loved the Lord and she used to go every Sunday and as a young girl I would um, go with her and be in church. And so, it, so it was, from church, I was able to grow up and still be a part of uh, the church group. Um, growing up and going, traveling to Perth with missionaries to um, holiday camps and things like that. Um, but always uh, church orientated uh, um, in my growing up. Yeah. Did the churches um, teach you much about the Bible? Yes, they did. They t like I remember, like a lot of the stories I, you know, like from the Bible now, I, I remembered a lot. Um, through Sunday school, yeah, lots of, lots of Sunday school activities and things like that. Yes, yeah, so we, we did learn a, a lot about the Bible. Yes. Then uh, how did you become an Adventist? When I first became an Adventist, before I came to fellowship with the um, Seventh Day Adventists, all the way along my journey was, you know, uh, Christianity, you know, coming all the way with Jesus. Um, in Port Hedland I lived, it was the Church of Christ influence again with the Aboriginal Fellowship. Um, so from there and and just and then when you ask how did I come an Adventist, I as moving up here to Broome and uh, living in Broome I, I, I went to the, I got to go to the Baptist Church. So so it's been the Baptist Church for many years, all the years I've been back up here in Broome living. It's been the Baptist Church. Um, I've had great fellowship with them, but it just came to a part where I, I couldn't go anymore. I couldn't get myself, or you know, for some reason I don't know. I know now, but at first I didn't know. I couldn't go back to church. It was just like a block, there was a blockage. I, I, no matter how I, f I remember, fe I remember feeling um, out there in the, in the wilderness like. Um, I didn't know where to turn, I was just like I was left out there and I didn't know where to go and it was just through perfect timing a, a sister uh, from the Seven Day Adventist Church came along and I, I was able to, um, she was able to share with me about, you know, she wanted, as we were telling stories and talking about the things of God and I was being encouraged and we were encouraging each other, she said to me, um, sister who told you to go to church, how do you, who, you know, how, do you, how come you go to church on a Sunday? And I said, well, I was, that's my background, you know, with the missionaries and learning Sunday school. And then that's when she introduced me to, to um, you know, about God's laws, the Ten Commandments, and, and she talked to me about the Sabbath. And I said, I learned about the Sabbath, and, but I thought that was the Old, the old, old, old Testament. And, and, I, and I sort of, in my understanding, I felt that the Old Testament, that was the past. And now we're in the new, in the, we're living in the New Testament, but it's it's uh, it's it's completely. I have a different understanding of it now, and a more fuller and more meaningful for me in my life. Yeah. So, 
So when did you uh, become an Adventist? I, I started to come along maybe at the beginning of the year, this year, 2014, yeah. And has it made much of, uh, has it made a change in your life? It has, it's made a great change. I, I, I can't believe it, you know, and, and it, it, the change is from inside and, and it's God's spirit that, um, that indwells in me. I'm able to understand his word. You know, I knew his word before, but I couldn't understand it. I didn't know, but coming along to the Adventist church and, I, and, and learning about how through Bible study and through some of the studies that we've been doing, you know, the 10 the day devotions and it was through that that I, I had first realised that I didn't know that you had to ask like each day for God to um, guide you, to infill, give you an infilling anointing of his Holy Spirit and, and that, that made a difference and I don't have to struggle anymore. I, I can see the difference from how it used to be and how I am now. So your life has completely changed. It's, it's completely changed and it's a fullness. It's a fullness. And I don't have that fear, you know, I, I don't have that fear how I used to have it. I felt I had to, I, I felt that if I did something to, you know, God will um, do something to me or, or he, I'll, be, I'll be left out of place and then I won't get to go with him when he comes. And another thing that we was taught that from uh, before was that um, Jesus was going to, come like a thief in the night and he was going to just um, take, take those who belong to him. And I didn't like, like, when I, like now I understand, I don't like the idea of a thief coming. And I said, Jesus, he would not come as a thief and steal the people. He will come with the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. And that was, that's, that's, that's the big difference. And it's, this is my Christian life, the life that I live is so meaningful. And I only can do it through through the Lord, through God's Spirit, that um, just through Him leading me and going before me. Yes, that's where I am now. Thank you very much for sharing your story with us. Well. Thank you very much, and that's my story I wanted to share with you. Thank you.